Right, folks, it's official. For the second year running, Sir Lord Admiral Brigadier Legend Sir Jeremy Clarkson is the sexiest man again. So, a big congratulations to Jezza. Bottle of uh, his Hawkston cider. He beat off people like Cillian Murphy, or Sicilian Murphy, uh, Edris Elba, Tom Holland, uh, I think even Prince William were up there. I don't think that ginger twat Harry was in there. Uh, but no, he is a sexy beast and there is nothing you can do about it. It's been voted. It's like a jury in a court of law. People have voted. That is it. Sir Jezza is a sexy beast. And you can't do anything about it. That's it. A vote of so many people. There's some of it. In fact, I think I've, I've actually took. Uh, I've screenshotted what it were. Uh, a chiselled jaw, toned physique or a six pack. So impressive it gives David Beckham a run for his money. These are the attributes most people might imagine when picturing the UK and Ireland's potato sexiest man. Uh, but for a second year in a row, Jeremy Clarkson, 64, uh, has secured the title, beating off a long list of competition from the likes of Tom Holland, Idris Elba and Cillian Murphy. Uh, the Clarkson Farm star scored an impressive score of 9 out of 10 points in the annual poll conducted by Illicit Encounters, which bills itself as the best online dating site for married people. What the fuck's all that about? Uh, having described himself as an unfit, fat old earlier uh, this year, straight-talking Clarkson isn't obviously the choice for the sexiest man, but his victory is clearly good news for the average blokes everywhere. Including myself! Uh, so there it is, you see, folks. He is a sexy beast. Now, some I've looked at some of the comments uh, on the social media sites uh, are talking about Clarkson and some are giving it the oh should have gone to Specsavers and I and that kind of shit and Stevie Wonder must have been the leading judge or the blind the visually impaired voted all very original very highly amusing ha 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 chuckling away um, at those attempts of joke. I mean, I bet Ricky Gervais and them are all shitting themselves with all the comical fucking outcomes. Having a go at our Jezza. National treasure. Je Je National treasure. Jezza. There you go. Poet, ain't I? Um, so, yeah, I bet Ricky Gervais is shitting himself. I bet he's sitting there rocking in the corner eating his own shit. Um... The thing is, though, right, now, in all seriousness about this, the, the best thing about this is that Clarkson's been voted twice now this year, two, uh, two years in a row, yeah. Uh, that hell of a hole London has been voted City of the Year now for nine years in a fucking row. That fucking, it's like Gotham City, isn't it? We need Batman there to come and tidy it up. Um, but, you know, so if he can do, if London can do that, I'm sure Jezza can go on to win this for another, at least five years. What do you reckon? 70-odd, nearly, fucking sexiest man. But what does make me laugh is the fact that if Dylan, Mur uh, Dylan Mulvaney yeah, and Caitlyn Jenner, yeah, if they can win a women's ward, uh, 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 you know, what, uh, what did... Um, uh, oh, Caitlyn Jenner, well, they, they won the Glamorous Award, didn't they? What are that fucking Dylan Mulvaney? Dylan fucking pricking his pants veiny. Yeah. Um, if they can win awards, then this is all good. Why, you know, the world's gone fucking mad, really, because, you know, Jezza, if I was a homosexual who took one up the bum box, um, I can honestly say Jezza wouldn't be my uh, cup of tea, my love partner. And I doubt if I'm fucking Jezza's love partner either. But 
the world has gone fucking mad. But I love it. I think it's absolutely fucking brilliant. Because I think what it is... I was talking to June about this. And uh, what it is, is the fact that he's a proper bloke. He's a normal fucking bloke. He's not one of these who, like, ponces around with all the makeup on and the fucking gets the teeth done and I mean the fucking eyebrows on Clarkson are amazing isn't they you know you could go foraging in there and um he likes a drink he likes a laugh he drives cars and tractors and he doesn't take himself too serious that's the trouble with people in this world they take themselves too fucking seriously they can't laugh at themselves He doesn't wear makeup, he doesn't have fancy hairdressers, he don't fly fucking thousands of miles for some prick in fucking Madrid to trim his hair up or anything like that. He doesn't dress fashionable like Lewis Hamilton, that fucking clown. He's just a normal bloke. He's a normal bloke who you see go down the pub, go down the football, go down the rugby, see walking around in fucking Waitrose or wherever, yeah? And that's all it is. It doesn't try to impress anybody, really. It, I, th I think, I mean, me and June, like I said earlier, me and June were chatting about this. And what it is, um, women find a bloke whose confidence is quite attractive, so she says. I mean, don't get me wrong, June says that Clarkson's not her cup of tea, yeah? And yeah. And I doubt, even in the comments down below after this, when I've released this video, uh, a lot of people will be saying that. But is confidence and uh, a sense of humour sexy and the ability to laugh at yourself is also uh, a, a benefit in life, I think. And Clarkson has got all three of them. He's very confident. He laughs at himself and he's got a sense of humour. Yeah, the, I, you know, that's what it is. That's, that's basically what it is. Ladies like humour, confidence and the ability to laugh at themselves. Um, he says what he likes. He doesn't give a fucking shit. He says, right, Clarkson says what most normal blokes in a pub or a canteen would say. Now, you can argue your fucking tits off over that. Canteens I've worked in... They're all pretty much the fucking same. They are all the same. They're all the same. The blokes who take the fucking piss and they know when things are going fucking wrong in the world. And Clarkson's one of them. The only thing I just, you know, the only thing I can say against Clarkson is that he should never apologise about Megan fucking Megaphone. Uh, but that's what it is. That's what it is. So the thing is as well, you don't, you can't keep somebody like Clarkson down. Uh, he was sacked in 2015 by the anti-British, unbiased, godlike, paedophile, covering up BBC. Uh, and then he came back, didn't he? He got a gig on uh, Amazon, uh, which took him, well, which, which took him higher than he's ever been. And the rest is history. Um, if it wasn't for... Uh, Clarkson getting the sack from that shithole of the BBC. Um, we might never have had Clarkson's far. We might never have enjoyed the uh, tales of Clarkson on his farm. Yeah? Um, and that's what it is, basically. So thank you to the BBC, you bunch of fucking cretins. Big bunch of cretins. BBC. Big bunch of cocks. The BBC. And I bet you know what the next one is. Big bunch of fucking... Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to say it. Because I don't want to give fucking YouTube the chance to demonetize it. He'll give me a little yellow fucking dollar sign. Fuck off. Um, so yeah, even after his article about Megan... Uh, about having shit thrown at her as she walks through the streets naked. The popularity of Grantor and Clarkson's farm as and, and his drinks and people still going to his farm and enjoying that little fucking hut of his, having something to eat, going there with a chance that you think that you might meet him or Caleb or one of the others, is brilliant. It still shows he's a firm favourite with the public. 
And I couldn't give a fuck if he slapped a producer. Honestly fucking couldn't. There were times at my old place when I wanted to slap my fucking bosses. Yeah, the thing is, Clarkson did it. And he's uncancelable. Uncancelable bubble. Yeah. The, the good thing is now, right, I'll wind this up. Uh, the good thing is, in a world where everything is like portrayed, you've got to have the perfect haircut, you've got to have the jizz, chiseled jaw, you've got to have the perfect body, you've got to be dressed properly, you've got to say the right things or somebody might fucking s s melt and go all pathetic and that. In a world where you can even get cancelled through just saying the one wrong thing, Clarkson is basically uncancelable. That you can't get. They tried the best. They tried their fucking best to get rid of him over Meghan Merkel, didn't they? Markle, where her fucking name is. Yeah, they tried their fucking best to get rid of him. Get him off fucking. Who wants to be a millionaire? Get him off Amazon. I'm fucking cancelling my Amazon Prime subscription till fucking Clarkson's got fuck off. He ain't going any fucking where. The only way you'll get rid of Clarkson's when he's fucking dead. So, well done, Jezza. Sexiest man in the fucking UK and the potato-picking island. Hard to make, easy to fucking drink. Laters.